Of the Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly, you'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. It's either him or your son. I say it's him. Goddamn right. Out on his ass with those things. <laughs> Give a shit about what happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. He's just an old racist asshole. That's his deal. Well, he needs to get over that and start finding a way to pull his weight. Hard problems are not, we should all be out here trying to find food. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. It's a long shot. I'd hate to waste the bullets. Trust me, if I don't think I can hit it, I won't shoot. Ah! Shit! Was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh shit, no, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher, we'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off, get it off, God damn it! Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? Who raided your camp? I, I don't know, guys with guns. Please, we won't bother you, I swear. Lee, this is fucked up, we've gotta help you. Please. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces, I know what I'm doing. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care, please. We gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. Hurry, please, hurry! Lee, this trap has been altered. There's no release latch. Oh no. Shit! Walkers! It's now or never, Lee! Please! Get me out of this! Mark, get the boys back! Kenny, keep those walkers off of me! Do something! No, no, no! Try the trap again! Anything, please! Try to cut the chain! Please! Get me out of this! Stop! Let's stop, go! Stop. Let's go! Hurry! I'm sorry. There's no other choice. Come on, we gotta move! It's open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on! Come oh on! Oh my god! What happened? Oh, what the hell are they doing? Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee! I, I don't know! Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here! What are you thinking? Hey, you wanna calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea! He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. 
We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <sighs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come here and see what I drew. Wait, what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know... You like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not gonna be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. You do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. I did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Well, you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. I love apples. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know. But Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. 
How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Want something to eat? If your camp got raided, probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I am really hungry. Thanks. Are you out of your mind? We needed that food for us, for our kids. Just because we don't know him doesn't mean he's not hungry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause trouble. You're fine, kid. Enjoy it. How you doing, Doc? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? Nope. Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those... Monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Thanks for buying me time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. I didn't have a choice. It was that or the walkers. Let's hope things turn for the better. Soon. Now there's a statement I can get behind. Back in a bit. It keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Hey, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Capture can save him. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. 
Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, Larry. Give it a rest, man. Things are different. Being a racist is outdated. Oh, and that's what you think this is? Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work! <sighs> You've got to talk to Lily about getting along with Kenny. Lily can make her own friends. It's not about making friends. We're all in this together. We gotta start acting like it. Uh, stuff all that. We'd be fine without you. Lily thinks we should throw these new people out. Damn right. There's too many people hanging around here as it is. Keep up on that fence. Don't tell me what to do, Lee. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Drugstore? Yeah. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well... If you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, Carly. Want something to eat? Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Not such an easy job, is it? I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ken, Lee, come here, please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... 
Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. God help us. It makes sense. In those first few days, it spread so fast. Car accidents, suicides, everything was making more of them. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God... Back off! Whoa, lady, relax! Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out! I said back off! Carly... Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh, I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Kenny keeps us motivated. He believes in hope and knows how important it is for us not to give that up. I can't fault him for that. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... Somehow, what exactly did happen with the senator? Now is not the time. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. 
Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always pulling this shit. Bandits? Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided my camp. Who oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! Fuck you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it there's up There's only two of them. Oh no, there's Yeah, you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus! Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha, they fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come, for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? 
Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up fucking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Alright, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the Senator? Now is not the time. Well, I'm here whenever you want to talk. 
Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor in the... Who's running things over there? We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. How many people you got over there anyway? Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always fucking this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it There's up. There's only two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, you know what? More. We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Jesus! Asshole. The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Here it is, St. John Family Dairy. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybell will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she... We have a vet, but we could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come, for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? 
Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up walking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. Been stockpiling, huh? Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. It's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know.
So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. Why the hell did you have to tell him I thought he was a racist? As if tensions weren't high enough. Sorry, man. It just... it popped out. I mean, you did admit it right to his face. I try to be civil, at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. There's one. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Looks like he's stuck. Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? A fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ. I can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. I'm hungry too, Mark. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? If they've got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Come on, I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? If you're waiting for that guy to help, it ain't gonna happen. Come on. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on! Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here! What the? Get to the gate! Get down! You asshole! Jesus! We had no Now you fuck! Who the fuck is that? No idea! Fuck! Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! Get out of the open! What about our arrangements? 
Back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. What happened? Shit. One of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. What happened? Oh, shit. It's Give one it of the dead you. we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. You asshole! Me and hide forever! Uh, uh, Where do you think you're uh, going? Uh, 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 Over there! Uh, another one? What How many of those food, things did we push asshole? down? Out of here. You lucky sons of bitches! Go ahead and run! We ain't going nowhere! Lee, what's wrong? fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit! Are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah. I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Hey, y'all. Mark! Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. You can't stop assuming there aren't bad people out there. What the hell do you mean a flu? It could have happened anywhere. Could have happened to us in the motor inn. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Bandits? Are you serious? 
This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Whoa, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! I love swings! Just like at my treehouse! Come on, Doc! Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah! Thanks. Anytime. We're looking out for you. That thing keeps a fence electrified. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? He'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. And not giving my dad food. That was cold. Hey. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. 
I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been nice to have one of these back at the motor end. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? He got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Then we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? Yeah. I'm not sure when. One day, things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop again. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. 
No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Are you going now? Yeah. I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. See anything? Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? See anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Nothing. Empty. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. Like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What do you find? A 
video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Just water. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Nothing but fumes. Shit. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Yuck. I don't need that. Looks like they expected to be here a while. your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you... God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> yeah.
It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. That was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry, and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cattle. That woman is a lifesaver. Day. My girl here. You really like that girl. What's not to like? Just kind of creepy, that's all. Times like these, a 243 will keep you warmer at night than any lady I ever know. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry, too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are lucky you're on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one.
quaint. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn where we at least know what to expect. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Did you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have a baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I don't know. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clint. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Thanks. Yep. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, <laughs> it smells funny in here. Like manure. What? <laughs> Kids. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty.
never put in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Empty. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Uh, I'm not gonna take the lock apart. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No! Why would you say that? Well, you're... you know... urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly. Have a peek inside and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Any thoughts on how to distract Andy? I don't know, man. Just look for something outside of the barn. We need him out of here. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. up something I think could help with the lock. All right, good to hear. Okay, let's do this. False alarm, I'm back. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's gotta be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? Oh! 
So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Finish talking later. You been getting along with Larry? <laughs> He's just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I don't know what I'm talking about. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys... They can hold their own. Before she died, we met a woman out there at her camp. She wasn't one of those bandits. Sounded like they did something pretty bad to her. And your marauders are still out there. I think all them folks out in the woods had drug problems. What does that have to do with anything? Means you can't trust them. Any of them. So, what are y'all keeping the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. Well, someone's getting a little curious, aren't they? I don't mean to pry. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know. Think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. There you go. That thing is on too tight for my bare hands. There, that should do it. Through a belt. Damn it, Tom. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this take forever.
picked up something I think could help with the lock. Nothing to stop you now. Mom! Dad! Dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey. Let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Dinner time. Why was there so much blood in there? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Oh, Brenda, you are a peach. Wow! Oh, Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already... Eating him. That's crazy. What the hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Quite what is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head! Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Lily, grab a knife! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. What? Put your Fuck. guns down! We're walking out don't of go here! Near my fucking right. family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay! Lee? Lee? Ah! Fuck! I'll tear you apart!
You can't keep us in here! <coughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bang. bare hands! We gotta find another way out of here! <coughs> you shit <coughs> fucking bastards! Open this door, goddammit! I will knock the we goddamn had door it down! Stop. It, it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm-mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You're, you're worse than the walkers! Dad, please! Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention. So I can fucking kill them! Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You refused to give me my day's rations back at the motor lodge. And you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! Open up, goddammit! No. You're not worth the energy to hate. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Please settle down! Oh, I'll rip your goddamn heads off! Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! Come on, try us! Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! There's more of us on the way! They got caught you and duck, Lee! Those fuckers have my family! I know! We're gonna get out of here and find them! They're not gonna open the door! You think a fucking apocalypse Don't give up. Gives you the We're gonna right find to a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Dad, this isn't helping. It's red bastards. Could there be a hole behind these pallets? No such luck. I'll, I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get... Uh. Ah! Easy! Ah! Oh, God. Dad? <gasps> no! Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, God. He stopped breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! Fuck. If he's dead... He's not dead! to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. You remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. God damn it, Lee! I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Wake up. Wake up! You're right, Kenny. Let's get you this over. You fucking monsters! Both of you! I don't want to see! I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! It's the only way. <laughs> get off me! Don't do this! No! No, no, no! Let go of me! No! Please! No! 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 God help us.
Thomas. I'm sorry. I Don't know. you fucking touch me! <laughs> Clementine. Clem. You okay? Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. He, he was dead, Clementine. But what if he wasn't? He was, I, I promise. Shh. I know, I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else, something hopeful. Like what? Some place safe where no monsters can get you. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. You've got to pull yourself together, Lily. Why? For your sake? So you can feel better about... about what you did? For your own sake. Right. Because you fucking care so much about me. Why can't you just leave me alone? I'm sorry, Lily. You, uh... You think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. What now? You got any ideas? The air conditioner. There might be a duck behind it. Oh, God. What are they doing to catch a duck? But I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I wonder what it's gonna do to her. Get away. I just need to... I told you to get the fuck away! Katja and Duck. What about him? You don't think the St. John's... No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. Sure. And, and Duck is valuable as a bargaining chip. We gotta get to them. There ought to be an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. The multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm-mm. Uh -uh. Not coming off that way. It's not coming off that way. If we can remove these screws, the AC should come down easily. Why can't you just leave me alone? Sorry, Lily. But if we're gonna get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something... No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for him, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. If he was alive and had the key to getting us out of here, do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. Uh. 
idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture! Here we go. Two quarters. And a dime. Yeah, one more should do it. You know you don't have to do this, right? I know. I just want to go home. This will help us get back home. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. We got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Sinclair and time through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. Oh my god, what's wrong with these people? Jesus, this is where they butcher people. Sick bastards. All of them. What's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. Just stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Stay close. Jesus. 
supposed to be in the league. I said, I saw it that point. I thought he had enough drugs in it. Dad, what are you doing outside the barn? Oh, shit. Just guarding the place, like you said. You're sitting out in the rain like a damn deer. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. And I pick each one to keep them alive. Not to kill. Enough meat on the trail. <laughs> oh, I know, neighbor. This hey, is my focus. Part Where's of Danny? When I let one think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. Hey, some fucker thinks this is a game. We'll take him out together. How? He doesn't know we're out. He's got a far past us to get to the meat locker. We can take him out when his back is to us. See what he's doing now. why you killed that woman in the woods. She was about to spill everything. You weren't ready to hear yet, Lee. Had to stop her. You gotta keep me alive. If you kill me, the meat gets tainted. You can't eat it. You're already tainted. You ain't gonna kill me. Just like you didn't kill Jolene. You don't have what it takes. This is not how the world works now. You won't make me kill you. Fuck you, Lee. You and Kenny murder my dad, but you leave this piece of shit alive? Fucking asshole. Oh god, don't hurt him! That's Katja! Please, no! Lily, please, keep her safe. He's dead. They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed him to us. Shit. Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house. And I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. All right. We're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. Ben, stick close. And Lee, be careful. Ah. 
Oh, I'ma take the boy and kick around. No, please don't take my boy. Let's go, woman. Set her down. I don't want to hurt y'all. Hey, Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Brenda. Please, please don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Brenda. Please, please don't you take another step. Brenda, come on now. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. You know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. Stop right there, I mean it. Oh, I told you to stop, I told you. Please, please 
Don't you take another step! Britain, come on now, you know you don't want to do this! Just go away and leave us be! Get out of here! You! 
Away from me, Lee! Get back here and finish this, Lee! Get back here and fight me like a man, Lee! I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, and Clementine almost ate some. But? I stopped her. I can't leave her alone, Carly. This fucking world now. It's hiding just unspeakable shit at every turn. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hon, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready to roll. I want you to come with us. I mean it. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, are those bad people dead? Yes, Walker's probably got them. They were very bad people, and they were punished for it. Okay. Hey, Dad. What's that noise? Sounds like a car. Oh, God. Not more strangers. Don't shoot! We're here to help!
figures. Oh, crap. Baby, you gotta see this. There's a shitload of food and supplies back here. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> Look, we don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. This stuff isn't ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? What if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. Supplies? I'll pick it. Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. More food in here. <laughs> Got a box of food here. I'll carry it. This hoodie looks to be about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. Well, think of it like you're holding on to it. You can give it back if we ever meet up with him, okay? Okay. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Oh, God. Lee, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, shit. Mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? No. Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If you're I'll thinking find it, you're I'll safe. You Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you've got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who took... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise.
Making is done, pal. Ain't nothing left. We gotta get the hell out of here. Lee, I need you to back me up on this. Is this all you got? I told you this town is tapped. Do you have any idea what we had to do to get all that? We need to leave. Duck was asking about the farm last night. Not much phases. It's starting to add up. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Lily's not doing so good, huh? But we killed her dad. We did kill her dad. Maybe people out there got things lined up better. Better than us, at least. Could be folks who have all this shit figured out. Do people get mad when they're scared? Sometimes, yeah, they do. This is crazy! I'm the one keeping this group going! We can sort this all out, all right? We can sort this out. I'll tell you what we need to sort out. We can't let one person fuck this up for everyone else! <laughs> 